I can guarantee that you have never seen a build this overpowered. A build that can dunk on any defender standing in the paint. A build that can hit smothered shots right over defenders. And a build that can lock down anyone on the court thanks to its elite defense. And my two-way sharpshooting slasher build is exactly that. What makes this build so overpowered is the fact that it's unstoppable on offense. And then on the defensive side of the ball, it is impossible for your opponent to score on you with this build. Saying that a build can do everything is kind of wild to say. So to show y'all how broken this build really is i'm gonna go ahead and get into some gameplay and then after that i'm gonna show y'all how to make the build i know that's not what i think it is bruh don't tell me okay we're good i think we're good we're good we're good okay i thought that was a post score i was finna have to really lock in bro i was gonna scrap this game not even make this a gameplay I, like i cannot lose the post scores it's just it hurts too much i cannot do it come on meter dunk wide open that's really what makes this build so hard to guard because you have to pick right do you want the do you want me to meter dunk all game or do you want me to LeBron step back and shoot it? You know what I mean? Or just fry you off the L2 cancel. I, I can do that too. Yeah, this build. And it got defense too. Like you can't forget about the defense. Can meter dunk, play defense, shoot the ball. Now, if you want to pass, you're kind of cooked, but hey, we don't need pat. Look, listen, we can do everything ourselves, okay? Your teammates ain't gonna be too happy. Jump for me. Oh, he wanted to jump so bad. Now your teammates ain't gonna be too happy that you're not passing. Them. But guess what? You can tell him to shut the f up and take the win. That's what you can tell him. That's what I tell him. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm too nice to do that. But that's green. Don't leave me open. As long as you got a high midi, which we have an 87, so we get T Max, some really good badges. Um, the three point rating really doesn't matter. I've I have a video on my channel of me playing with a 65 three ball build. I went on a 40 game with that build. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do next? What are we gonna do next? little spin jumper sight oh okay we good over though yes 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 okay well i didn't really get to show y'all the defense so hopefully i have another gameplay to use but um what are we gonna do to end it what are we gonna do to end it huh okay okay nutmeg okay I can't. how do you do a nutmeg hold on take two take two take two nutmeg okay damn it bruh okay i'm just gonna pass it my teammate are you serious? I thought he greened it. <laughs> Hell no. Give me that. That boy tried to do a putback. Overdose? He ain't even there. I'm not talking about overdose. Come on. Y'all didn't really get to see the defense, so y'all just gonna have to take my word for it. The offense, nine for nine, four for four. Yeah, I mean, this build is something else, bro. I definitely cooked up with this. All right, so hopefully in this game, I can show more defense. Yeah, the uh, last game was kind of crazy. I think I missed perfect that's perfect now i can show y'all more defense okay they're gonna iso my big okay that's great oh we're, we're playing a post score okay I, you know every time i play a post score i never actually look like i never know that i'm playing a post score like i'll look for it like i'll look every other time but when a post score actually pulls up i never actually am ready for it so now mr cook for fun what the green 27 percent come on bro i love missing wide open but then i green a 30 that is just awesome i love this game what okay i realize that i wasted there you go see that's how it should work very inconsistent though he wants to throw this so badly i know he does what in the f am i watching still give me that come on See, okay, look, we got some more defense in this game. That's perfect. Thank you. Oh, shoot. They have no time. Do I shoot it? No, I don't. No, the f I don't. Flashy meter dunk? I airballed the dunk. Okay. If he makes this. Yo, I don't. He shoots it like his arms got. What the f He shoots it like he actually has a f backpack on, dog. Like, what? Give me that give me that come on no do not shoot that pass it out green never mind okay well you know more defense that actually works out because i did want to show more defense good for taking that thank you i'll take that ball right back little hop jumper question mark i missed he can drive and dunk too okay man you know okay i don't know what's going on with this give me the ball give me the fucking ball thank you only when i hit that start recording button i'm telling y'all bro it's just all the bs starts happening
Every time. Green on God, come on. Yup. Oh, yo, that meter dunk is something. W plug, by the way, but if you want a meter dunk tutorial, click the top right because I yap for nine minutes straight about how to use a meter dunk. And uh, I was going to plug my shooting tutorial, but I missed. Why don't I shoot the wide open? Okay, you know what? I'll just hit my teammate. How about that? Yay. I love park timing so much. Oh, no, 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 no. Why did the bailout go through? Why did the bailout go through? 65 pass. I can bail out better than I can on my 90 pass accuracy build. Yeah, I might delete 2k. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm addicted. Green bean. Come on, get off my court. Well, now y'all saw defense. Y'all already saw offense last game. So next, we're going to go ahead and get into the actual build. Now, for position, you want to go with shooting guard or point guard. It doesn't really matter. Me, personally, I went with shooting guard. Height, you want to go with six foot seven. Weight, you want to go 230. And then for the wingspan, you want to go with seven foot four. And for the attributes on this build, I'm going to go ahead and explain every single attribute and why I went with it. Now, for the finishing section, you want to go 57 close shot, 74 driving layup, 94 driving dunk, and a four. 40 standing dunk with a 94 driving dunk you are going to be able to use the meter dunk at full force because with a 94 driving dunk rating you get pretty much every single contact dunk animation in the game not only that you get some really really good finishing badges and then for standing dunk you want to make sure you go with a 40 with a 40 standing dunk that is the minimum that you need for standing dunk animations for shooting you want to go with an 87 mid-range shot a 76 three-point shot and a 62 free throw a 76 three ball is definitely going to scare some people but I'm telling you right now, a 76 is more than enough, especially since we have an 87 mid-range, which is going to allow us to get Tracy McGrady base, aka the best base in the game for tall builds, and some really, really good badges alongside that. I'm not going to sit here and go through all of them, but you get some really, really good badges. Now, moving on to playmaking, you want to go with a 65 pass, 86 ball handle, and a 75 speed with ball. Now, real quick, I want to go ahead and go over the pass accuracy. I know that is definitely going to scare some people, but I use this build mainly on the twos, and and I play a lot of stage with this build. And I'm telling you right now, a 65 pass is more than enough if you have IQ and you know when to hit your teammates. On the twos court, you really don't need a high pass accuracy like you do on the threes court, for example, which you do need pass accuracy for. And the speed of the passes really are not slow at all. I have some clips of me passing with this build. Like for having a 65 pass, if you're intending to use this build on the threes, I would try to maybe get like a 75 pass. With an 86 ball handle, you were gonna unlock pretty much every single dribble sig that you need on tall build you're gonna get kimba size up escape which in my opinion is a must have dribble move pretty much every single move that you need you do unlock in this speed with ball you want to go with a 75 that is going to get you lebron dribble style you're going to get silver blow by with that silver speed booster so you get some solid dribbling badges moving on to the defense for the interior i went with a 62 for the perimeter i went with an 82 and then for the steel i went with an 85 block i went with a 78 offensive rebound 26 and then defensive rebound 37 62 interior for the most part has has been fine for me if you're playing a normal player and they go up with like a close shot on you in the paint it's more than enough you really don't need like a super high interior unless you're playing like a post score for example so perimeter defense i usually go with 82 on every single one of my builds that way you're going to get silver challenger bronze clamps steel i went with an 85 that is going to give you silver glove silver interceptor and silver right stick ripper and we got a 78 block so we are going to get anchor on this build and we're also going to get silver chase down artist the defense is a really underrated area of this build i mean we can guard the perimeter we can rip the on-ball defender and play the lane and if they try to go up on us in the paint we are going to get the block pretty much every single time. And I'm telling y'all, that is so broken. I get pretty much every single block. You're not really going to get a super high rebounding on this build. This is a guard, so we don't really need it. Now, moving on to the physicals. So you want to go with an 81 speed, a 73 acceleration, 49 strength, 82 vertical, and a 99 stamina. Make sure that you don't lower the vertical because we have to have an 82 vertical in order to unlock some contact dunks. And I did have to go with a 49 strength if I wanted to be able to dunk the ball at a high level. If I wanted to be able to get T-Mac base and shoot, be able to ISO, and be able to have really, really good defense. So I did have to sacrifice one thing on this build and that being the strength and strength is pretty important on the twos and the ones now since this right here is a ones and a twos build i know some people are going to want to have strength on their build so if you want strength on your build this right here is the version i would make unfortunately you are not going to have the 94 driving dunk but yeah with an 84 strength you're going to get hall of fame physical handles you're going to get silver brick or brick wall doesn't really matter but you're going to get a movable enforcer which is a really really good badge and then you have a few points left over. I guess you can just put it on interior or block or 
it's really up to you so if you want to get like the best contact dunks in the game you can go 94 driving dunk if you want to get more strength on your build which is going to come in handy whenever you play like a post score then i would go with the second version and make the one with strength now when you make the build you're going to get shades of jr smith dante divincenzo and dejounte murray and as you can see we have built the inside the arc finisher now even though i just showed y'all how to make this insane build y'all still might need a jump shot and if you do need a jump shot click the top right in that video i go through the best jump shot for every single height and three point rating but it doesn't matter what build you have there is a jump shot in that video that will work for your build but i also go over 17 tips to help you shoot better those tips are going to turn you into an insane shooter if y'all got any questions make sure to let me know but i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video